the readings welcome back to dr suchita's interactive class we are going to see one of the practical based on spectral photometry the readings given in these online practical demonstrations are not ideal one these are given under the situation of covid 19 they may change during online during actual practical performance chemical error personal error temperature and other conditions too so we are going to find out today the stability constant for iron that is fe3 plus by performing an experiment or forming a complex of iron and salicylic acid where we are going to find out the stability constant by utilizing a method that is jobs continuous variation method by colorimetry so for this particular experiment we need to have the spectrophotometer or colorimeter q8 test tube volumetric flask burette and tissue paper the chemicals which are going to utilize during this particular experiment is 0.002 molar hcl 0.002 molar ferrous ammonium sulfate in 0.002 molar hcl you are going to prepare the ferrous ammonium sulfate in hcl solution only you are going to weigh the amount required to prepare this molarity of solution you, you will find out you will do the back end calculation you will report these calculations over here and this amount you are going to dissolve in prepared solution of 0.02 molar hcl again here the salicylic acid solution which you are going to prepare in the same way where you will find out the amount required to prepare 0.02 molar salicylic acid solution once you find out the amount or the weight of the salicylic acid required you will weigh that weight and you will dissolve this particular um, salicylic acid in 0.002 molar hcl you are going to utilize spectrophotometer or colorimeter available assembly with you where we have seen the basic concept of spectrophotometer and colorimeter that it is based on the basic law of colorimetry that is beer's law when a beam of monochromatic light is allowed to pass through the color solution decrease in intensity is directly proportional to concentration of solution so when i am using it is single beam spectrophotometer it is double beam single beam spectrophotometer beam of monochromatic light is allowed to pass through this colored solution where the path length is kept constant decrease in intensity we are going to measure this p value which is directly proportional to the concentration of solution when we are utilizing double beam spectrophotometer where we need to put the sample in a cuvette along with the reference solution that means the solution in which we have prepared the sample here we have prepared in hcl so we can put reference as an hcl over here what is the utilization of this double beam is So whatever the errors whatever the absorbance created by this reference solution is minimized and you will get the absorbance for your sample solution we are utilizing colorimeter or spectrophotometer over here this is sample holder cuvette holder knob to adjust the absorbance and digital display and this is an actual spectrophotometer which will look like when you perform the experiment offline uh, this particular um, assembly is placed with our department this is one of the application of colorimetry which we have learned during our theory theory courses that i can utilize the spectrophotometer or colorimeter to study the coordination compound when this metal fe forms a coordinate bond with the organic compound like salicylic acid what will be the study of coordination of the compound the ratio mole ratio required for the formation of this complex we can find out easily by these two methods one is mole ratio method and one is jobs continuous variation method where we are in particular mole ratio method either metal or ligand um, concentration has been kept constant and we are carrying out this mole ratio method where we are measuring the absorbance and we can conclude from this result that the mole ratio required to form a complex is 1s to 1 1s to 2 1s to 3 this particular data we can report by performing this particular method now in jobs variation method again metal to ligand ratio how we are doing total concentration of either metal or ligand is kept constant 
total concentration of either metal or ligand is kept constant to find out the number of moles required to form a complex during this process. We are going to see this application in our today's experiment. What we are taking? We are going to take a solution containing ferric ions mixed with a solution of salicylic acid which forms a violet color complex. Now, since it is an anion of salicylic acid which forms complex with ferric ion and the stability constant of this complex we are interested in finding out and we are interested in uh, we are, we are uh, finding out the color intensity of this complex by utilizing spectrophotometer. To carry out this complex we need to keep the pH constant that is pH 2.5 so that the complex form will remain uh, steady and stable. Under this condition the phenolic OH group is undissociated. The evidence of existence of only one complex species in a solution gained from the, uh, from the presence of isobestic point where we are going to ca carry out the spectrophotometric study of this complex formation between iron 3 and salicylic acid at around pH about up to 6. The mm, mm, When this complex has been formed the absorption maxima, reported absorption maxima for, per, for this particular complex is 530 nanometer which is independent of pH. The stability constant we can find out when metal and ligand reacts, the uh, ratio of metal ligand with respect to concentration of metal and ligand will give me the stability constant. Concentration of complex with respect to concentration of initial reactant Fe and initial reactant of salicylic acid will give me the stability constant. This is the, um, I try to show you the structure of salicylic acid and Fe, how they form the complex. So, for this particular experiment, you need to prepare 400 ml of 0 0.02 molar solution. That is the required amount for your throughout the experiment which is needed. Here I have provided you the molarity and from concentrated solution, you need to prepare this particular solution. Do the theoretical calculation that how much amount I should pick up from the concentrated solution to prepare this 400 ml point not 2 molar HCl solution. Second task is you have to prepare 100 ml 0 0.02 molar ferric ammonium sulphate solution. Now this solution you have to prepare in HCl again salicylic acid solution again you need to prepare in HCl. So for this purpose you are going to prepare 400 ml of solution. Now we will see one by one how we are going to find out the preparation of uh, solution for determination of composition of complex. Now we need to have test tubes number 1 to 9 or you can pick up simply volumetric plus 1 to 9 where we are going to do addition of 1 to 9 ml of volume of Fe3 solution which we have prepared and we are going to add in test tube number 1 we are going to add 1 ml of ion solution and 9 ml of salicylic acid. The total volume we are going to keep constant and we are doing variation with iron and salicylic acid solution where this particular combination it will form a complex of iron and salicylic acid. We are going to choose this 5 number solution that is 5, five uh, ml of iron and 5 ml of salicylic acid solution has been taken to find out the maximum absorbing wavelength for this particular complex. To find out lambda max for this phi number solution which shows me higher intensity, color intensity that is why I have chosen this pollution solution to find out lambda max for this complex. Now how I, I need to go? I need to standardize every time when I pick up the filter I need to adjust the absorbance 0 then I will put this phi number solution in the cuvette and I will measure the absorbance. So place the filter 440 nanometer adjust the blank and measure the absorbance solution number 5. So you will continue this for 470 nanometer, 500, 530 nanometer, 630 nanometer, 660 nanometer and 720 nanometer. So once you get all the readings from the observation of absorbance readings which shows me highest absorbance the wavelength is considered as maximum absorbing wavelength for the complex which is under study. Okay? So 500 nanometer we can choose this particular wavelength for our further study. 
So what we are going to do? We are going to keep the wavelength constant and for all these solutions which we have prepared, we will measure the absorbance. So what we have done? We have done variation with the metal concentration, variation with the ligand concentration, metal to ligand concentration, continuous variation for both these. So at this particular highest concentration that we have found out optical density versus volume of salicylic acid we have found out we have drawn the graph and we come to know that this is the highest absorbance. So the concentration of metal to ligand from this particular method it concludes that the metal to ligand ratio is 1 as to 1 to form the stable complex. Now in slope ratio method where we are keeping the volume of Fe constant and doing variation with the salicylic acid finding out the absorbance for this particular solution and again in second table we are keeping constant the salicylic acid volume and doing variation with iron and we can conclude that the highest absorbance we, uh, by the slope ratio method we can uh, find out the 1 as to 1 ratio for the metal to ligand from this particular slope ratio method. This is the mole ratio method where again in the similar way we are doing uh, the variation with the metal to ligand and we can conclude that the metal to ligand ratio required for this complex is 1 as to 1. Yes, to find out the stability constant of the particular metal to ligand complex of this iron and salicylic acid, we need to prepare the solutions with variation of 1 to 5 ml of iron and we are going to keep the salicylic acid volume constant, we are going to add the HCl into it and making final volume as 10 ml. Now we are going to find out the concentration of Fe3 plus, how it changes. Here it is 0.02 molar and now when we do the when you do the uh, dilution with this particular process, you will get to know what is the concentration by applying this particular equation. So you have to find out the concentration in each of these cases and then measure at maximum absorbing wavelength that is at 500 nanometer you have to measure the optical density. These particular values of concentration of Fe3 plus and optical density values, this will be useful further to find out the stability constant of your complex. So you can report your result by Jobs continuous variation method you need to have 1 as to 1 slope ratio method mole ratio method and then you find out the stability constant of your complex. This is an simple assignment for you where the basics of these uh, questionnaire which I have prepared for you will be very useful for your online practical oral examination. Thank you.